Among the many different communities in VRChat exists a group of people that cannot stand losing an argument, get annoyed quite easily, and or despise quest and desktop players for existing. These are the crashers of VRChat. For those of you who don't know what I'm talking about, allow me to give a very basic explanation. Crashing someone in VRChat is when somebody deliberately causes another user to have their game become unresponsive and completely shut down. And the people who do this are commonly called crashers. The way crashers trigger a crash is often due to the use of a crashing gun. These guns can be absolutely anything, ranging from a 1911, to a 5.7, to an MP5, to an AK-47, to an M4, to an op, to a gravity gun, to a dubstep gun, or even a finger gun. You don't have to keep a list of all the potential guns though, because most of them have one thing in common. A laser sight. I've only seen red laser sights, but that doesn't mean that the laser sight can't be green or blue. The laser sight is one of the biggest giveaways when a player has a crashing avatar. Like in real life, a laser sight is used to help with aiming. So the way a crashing gun works is pretty simple. You aim it at someone, pull the trigger, and bam! The victim who was shot might look frozen for a second, but eventually they'll disappear from the game. Sometimes crashers don't even use guns either. It can be anything, like a baseball bat or a hammer. Crashing players in VRChat isn't just limited to one person. It's possible to crash entire lobbies. What the oh, fuck's sake. I don't know the exact details of how this is done, but what usually happens is everyone's game freezes, you might hear some music playing, and then you'll crash. Did I crash another server? <gasps> I'm reporting you. There are even crashers that are capable of targeting people who are playing VRChat using an Oculus Quest, usually referred to as Quest Crashers. I've heard stories of people on Quest who had to restart their entire headset after getting crashed. I don't have a Quest, but I'm sure that it's really annoying. Now, why is crashing a thing and why would someone want to crash another person? If anyone slightly annoys them, annoys one of their friends, or even looks at them a second too long, that's usually enough to warrant a crash. That's why they tend to have a bad reputation in VRChat. I've been crashed many times, but here's one story. One day, I was hanging out at the Black Cat. That was my first mistake. I was there challenging people to fight. But unfortunately, I was foolish enough to challenge this random guy. And for the purposes of this video, we'll call him PP Head. I challenged PP Head to a friendly duel. He accepted the duel and so I got into position. The Wing Chun stance. But I noticed something odd about PP Head. He didn't get into a fighting stance. Instead, I saw that he was going through his menu. PP Head then changed his avatar. I knew something was up. Then what spawned in front of me was an e-boy avatar with space textures, with a big desert eagle, and some rap music playing in the background. Mob so I see wonder why they kill me. I'm just mining. I even remember how he posed. It looked it looked sort of like this. I hit his avatar so that if it was a crasher, it would be rendered useless. Then suddenly, another player came up to me with a knife and asked me if I would like to fight him. It was the perfect opportunity to stop the duel between me and PP. PP Head did not know that I hit his avatar, so while I was fighting with the other person, he was continuously trying to crash me by shooting at me with his gun. After my friendly sparring match with the other person, I made a fatal mistake. I went ahead and re-enabled PP Head's avatar. I had assumed that after my minute long fight with the other player, he would have lost interest in crashing me. But how wrong I was. The second I turned his avatar back on, my game crashed. But before we continue from there, let's go back in time a little bit to the moments leading up to this event. I was sitting down with a group of people. It was me, my friend Koi Fish Hand. Koi Fish Koi Fish Hand. Koi Fish Hand. Is it really say Koi Fish Hand? It's bad. It's really bad. The knife wielder who I mentioned earlier, and the cutest little lolly. She had a high-pitched voice, straight out of an anime, and such an adorable demeanor. Back at home, back at home. Slime, let's go <laughs> So me being me, I thought it'd be best to teach her kung fu. I taught her how to defend herself and how to use a blade. While I was teaching her, a woman came up to me. Oh, let me just put a fucking comma right there. A woman came up to me and introduced herself to be my pupil's mother. I thought to myself, this must be some of that VRChat family roleplay I rarely hear about. I played along, 
and we'll also call her Vanessa. I spoke to Vanessa briefly. She seemed like a really nice person. Later, she sent me a friend request and I accepted it. Then a thought came across my mind. Hang on a minute. If she's the daughter and she's the mother, then who's the father? Yes sir, Mr. PP Head is the father. What a lovely family. After I was crashed, I instantly hopped back into the game and was pleased to see that one of the people I fought with had sent me a friend request right before my avatar had disappeared from the game, meaning that I'd be able to join the same lobby, and so I did. Upon my return, everyone came up to me and said, Twi TWICE! This guy's a scumbag! Sarcastically, I said, bro, bro listen, whatever, dude, you know, I don't care if he crashes me because I'll just come right back. PP Head failed to pick up on my sarcasm and thus he said, Yeah man, I don't know why they're so mad at me. After he said this, I became curious, so I asked him, how old are you? Based on the sound of his voice, I guessed that he was around 13 to 15 years old. He replied, 17. I was close. That's just my story. What about other people? I went ahead and asked two of my friends if they would like to discuss their thoughts on Crashers, and they agreed. This is Azuki, Genshin Impact loving Diluc fanatic, and one of the nicest people I've ever met. One fun fact about her is that she added a muzzle to her avatar. And this is Engi, another fan of Genshin Impact. She's fun to be around and has given me endless encouragement in my kung fu pursuits. These two were really nice to talk to, and if they're watching, thank you. I only can sit on the floor, so this is... Oh, that's fine, yeah, that'll be perfect, that'll be perfect. Yeah. Ready? Yeah. Have you ever been crashed in VR chat before? Uh, yes, I have. Oh, shoot my mic. Alright, I shoot my mic. <laughs> Sorry, I was just staring at you. <laughs> Have you ever been crashed in VR chat? Yes. Tell me, tell me the story, tell me. What happened? It was like when I first started like playing VR chat. Like I was just a little like desktop. Like I didn't have VR or anything. Um, but I went to this like drinking night and there is this like group of people that like started talking to me and they like like oh like friend me friend me and stuff and i was like okay and then like when i friended them like i had like everyone's avatar set in but when i friended them like their avatar is like shown and stuff and then like just when i like friended them they crashed me oh wow <laughs> <laughs> well usually i block the avies before they can so you're good at like seeing uh noticing uh crash your avatars well not even just the avatars it's just purely their behavior Okay. And they usually <laughs> like to gloat about how they can crash people, so then whenever someone does, I usually immediately crash, uh, not block crash, them. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> block them. <laughs> uh, do you have any other accounts or stories? Oh, there was this one time, I think this might have happened a couple times, but I used to go to Black Cats a lot. Like, I was like my go-to. Yeah, that used to be my go-to too, and then that was like my public... mistake going to Black Cat. <laughs> yeah, yo, know, public Black Cat. I don't know why, I just thought it was my go-to, even though... Like, I hated it because either I would get crashed or harassed or something would happen. And there was this one time where I don't know, I don't even know what the fuck happened, but like, like everything turned blue and then I couldn't <laughs> see anything and then I just get crashed. There were a couple of Abbeys. Some dude had came up to me. He was talking about it because it was really, really impressive for him for some reason. It was like one sword on the Abbey would slow people down and then another sword it had would crash people and it hit them. And so they were like, glo like gloating about it, you, you know, they were like, Oh my god, this is such a cool Abby. And I was like, okay, yeah, sure. And then they DM me later. They're like, dude, I just got kicked out of that world. And I'm like, I don't know what to tell you, man. <laughs> <laughs> you were crashing people. <laughs> what do you think about people who use crashers? There are some people that are just trying to have a funny time. If their tolerance has seriously reached a limit, Cause I get like that too. I don't really crash people on purpose. I mean, it's really annoying, honestly. Like, if you're just doing it to be like a nuisance, it's so annoying. Like, you're not funny. If you think if you think it's funny, it's not. Cause it's just like, dude, I'm trying to like talk to people here, and you're just trying to like crash everybody. Like, you're not cool. You're fucking dumbass. Just like, <laughs> most of them think they're so cool and stuff, but really they're just. Um, I hate being crashed, so I don't like to do it to others. Okay. And if it's with malicious intent, I'm like, mm, but why? Why you, why you have to do it? I wonder what's going on in their life. <laughs> okay, okay. Do you think there are any other good reasons uh, to crash somebody? <laughs> <laughs> well, 
Well, I think if someone's being very, very rude to someone, and as a way to step in, you can crash. It, even if it crashes both of them, it at least gives them time to, like, recuperate, okay. and, like, they can stay off. It gives people a way out. I've actually asked someone to crash me before, because I was in a super awkward situation, <laughs> and I used it as my way out. And then I never had to talk to that person again, so... Fantastic, all right. <laughs> it can be used for good. How do you deal with annoying people? <laughs> I just be more annoying. <laughs> you be- okay, okay, okay. I just- okay. I just- <laughs> <laughs> I have my safety settings turned on- I have my safety settings in a way where I have white users- Like, users' voice off because of- that's usually the people who yeah. I like- the, the, Like, I just say, like, that's mostly the people who try, like, crashing me or try, like- doing ear rape stuff and you know people yeah. bother me um yeah hey thanks i appreciate it your uh, responses have been i forgot the word anyways um you did it that's it that's all that's all the questions <laughs> yay yay that was yay. good that was good i got a lot of insight from these two and i thank them for taking the time to speak with me now that we've discussed some stories about crashers how can you avoid them the most brute force method is to simply hide everyone's avatar but then obviously, everyone's just gonna be a grey robot. A lot of the fun in VR chat comes from the avatars and what crazy and cool things people might do with them. So you probably won't resort to this. The next best thing would be to disable everyone's shaders and particles. This way you can see everyone's avatar, but they just might look a little ugly. For me, I don't block anything. I try my best to spot crashers before they do anything and hide their avatars. Some red flags for me are avatars that have that voice track play whenever they join a lobby that goes something like User XYZ has joined the lobby, followed by some rap music. Yeah, I went to his house, hey, I put my cock in his mouth, hey, that nigga take out my blouse, hey, I put that boy on the couch. Avatars that have space textures or really edgy textures, or these glasses. I don't know what's about these glasses, they, they just make me feel suspicious. Or I try to guess whether a person is a crasher based on the way they speak and go like, yeah, this person sounds like he might have a crasher. By following these guidelines, I've kept myself pretty safe. Though remember that it's completely possible for someone to have all of these traits and not be a crasher. If you have any stories about crashers in VRChat, please leave a comment down below. I would love to hear them. And if you guys haven't already, please hit that subscribe button down below. It really motivates me to keep pushing out these videos. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one.